Opportunities don't always come at the perfect time. But the moment we think of a reason to say no, it slips away. So when Solomon emailed me and asked if I were up to help them filming the Pice Peak Marathon, I said, yeah, I'm up for it. So I packed my bag, said goodbye to Bean, and left for Colorado. On the first day, I met up with a group of Solomon athletes and content creators on top of Pice Peak to film a pre-race video. After a few hours on Pice Peak running and taking videos, we're headed down to Many Two Springs for the Marathon press conference. We have overheated brakes and the uh, ranger was um, scared that they're going to melt. So we have to, we have to do a 40 minutes break. The ranger, the <laughs> hey, ranger, enjoy the sun. The ranger politely advised us that they stop cars at 300 degrees Fahrenheit with brakes and ours are 550 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> So we've been stopped and asked to raise the hood, which is also known as the bonnet, and cool the brakes. Uh, this is why people were driving so slowly on the way up. They were driving up in low. They got it wrong. It's like the first gear, or what does low mean? Yeah, it must be. Is it? Yeah, it's yeah. like it doesn't allow you to go out of gear. Lesson learned, kids. Don't ride your brake going downhill, especially from Pice Peak. Pice Peak Marathon is one of five races in Solomon's Golden Trail series. This year, it attracts a field of competitive athletes to an already exciting and challenging race. The marathon is an out and bike course that starts from Manitou Spring go 13 miles and 7,800 feet up to the top of Pice Peak. For us videographers, we're also facing a big challenge ahead of us. Salman is doing a live coverage for each race, except that this time, there is no cell service along the course. So instead of broadcasting directly from our cameras, we form a team of 16 people to film each section of the course and immediately upload our footage via two Wi-Fi locations, Bar Camp and the Summit. It was an ambitious plan. What's going on today, Philip? Uh, we are, uh, as we get up very early, and we want to be at Ice Peak Marathon to make a live coverage for Salomon Running. And, uh, the race starts at 7, so one and a half hours to go. Just two. Uh, and then one more in the bag, to be sure. <laughs> we film everything 
I think it will be good. But I think your lens is a little bit dirty. <laughs> gimbal in one hand and an accordion in the other hand uh, play, playing songs for the uh, for the runners coming up how about you i am going to be playing the cowbell let's give it yeah. i'm gonna film the top five then i'm gonna receive sd cards from i think five runners then i need to go here and upload everything and send it to Max. How about you? I'm Emily's assistant today. <laughs> I'm that professional, so, so I I'm have feeling, an I'm feeling like a bodyguard because I'm always behind you. <laughs> I will go down to mile 15. Um, my goal is to film people going up with my uh, Sony camera and then wait for them to come down and run with them with the GoPro for the live coverage. As I was heading down from Pice Peak, I received a message that the light coverage was pushed back due to the lack of internet speed at our upload location. So, I'm on the way down to the headquarters and give them the footage. Despite the challenges, the team was still able to put together a live broadcast with the race footage, giving fans a mile to mile report on the progress of the race. This is the race as it unfolded today, this morning. So, what we're doing right here is we're looking at drone footage that was taken a few hours ago. Opportunities don't always come at a perfect time, and when it does, there will be some challenges along the way, but it's up to us to make the best of the situation. For me, the trip was a major success and an incredible experience. That's really nice.